All right, our fault circuit interrupter protection, 210.12 AFCI, lots of changes. We discussed this um, previously in this program when it had to do with the introduction about protection against hazards. AFCIs can come, they're electronic devices, they can come in a circuit breaker, or they can come in a receptacle, and you can see the kind of complexity of it all. The requirements to provide 15 and 20 amp branch circuits with AFCI protection was expanded to include a new allowance for 10 amp branch circuits. So Brian, let's take a look at Link here because there is a new, a lot of code sections. Mario, see if we can come up with a section. It was, now we have 210.12, we have 210.4D, yes. we have 210.6. 240. 240. Sorry, 240.6. Any other rules? Uh, 210.23. 210.23. Um, and uh, 210.24. And 210.24, all these, are, whatever, five or six rules here, yep. are now recognizing the permission of a 10-amp branch circuit. And, Mario, I think it's 210.23 that talks about, but if you run this 10-amp circuit, what you're permitted to supply with this 10-amp circuit. I think that's 210.23. So now, 2023 code is going to allow you to run 10-amp circuits. And, and well, what, my, what the heck's going on? Because copper clad wire comes in 14 gauge and 14 gauge copper clad wire is only rated well, I don't know what it's rated it's rated something but it's not rated 15 well Mike why do you not know what it's rated um, because I got to go to table 31016 and I don't know if it's in table 31016 so Brian in table 31016 does it give me the ampacity of 14 gauge aluminum slash copper clad aluminum I'll tell you right now I appreciate that. Can you give me, a little, give me a page? 16. I'm going to guess 14 gauge aluminum. Is it listed on there? Okay, let's see here. I'm going to go right into the table. Uh, 14 gauge. Oh. Aluminum. Go to the oh, right. Hold on. Yeah, expand it. Well, I tried. Let me not do that. Oh, there, like it. there it is. Okay, we got it there? There it is. Expand. Let me just zoom back out here. And get the whole thing on there. I can't have it quite as big, so we'll just have to deal with it being small. Okay, 60 degrees C, aluminum. Oh, I see how you can do that. That's cool. 14 gauge. Yeah, and it looks like the answer is no. There is no ampacity for okay, 14 gauge but, copper clad. But if you had a wire that was rated for 10 amperes, and if you had a breaker that was rated for 10 amperes, then you, if you comply with 210.12, uh, 210.23, uh, I think 21019 might even have had something in there about, you know, 10 ampere circuits. If you could get a wire that we knew what the ampacity was, then you can use it. You're like, I don't understand. <laughs> Why would the code didn't add all these rules? It's because, oh, by the way, Brian, go to 310.3, which is the smallest size wire the code even allows us to use. Okay. And 310.3, while it's going there, you'll find out it's 14 gauge copper and 12 gauge aluminum or 12 gauge copper clad aluminum. If you can point that out to us. Yeah, right here, 14 gauge copper and 12 gauge aluminum or copper clad aluminum. Okay, so the code does not allow me to use 14 gauge copper clad and it doesn't give me the ampacity of 14 gauge copper clad. But Mike, what it have, why did they have all these rules? Because they added all these rules and somehow it kind of slipped up that we didn't get an impacity in there and it slipped up that we didn't say a wire could be as small as 14 gauge aluminum or copper clad aluminum. So everything that we're going to talk about 10 gauge, it's not in my book because you can't actually, ten amp. I mean 10 amperes, it's not in my book because you can't actually deal with that. Okay, so let's go on. We're going to forget about the 10 amp rule and we're going to move on. So here's the rule. Arc full circuit interrupter protection must be located in a readily accessible location because you got the test and reset button. And by the way, how do you test an AFCI circuit breaker? Right? Press the button. Press yeah, the press button. the button. You don't get any tester in there. You just, like a GFCI, the same thing. Readily accessible because we got to test the button monthly. Okay. AFCI protection. Required for 15 or 20 amp, your 120 volt branch circuit supplying outlets or devices in the following dwelling unit locations. 
I did not list 10 amps in here because I know we can't use a 10 amp circuit. And in my book, I don't talk about 10 amps. We didn't even talk about it. Now, the rules for AFCI protection was moved around. Subdivision B, dormitories moved to C, uh, whatever. I don't really care about the movement part. So let's go to B. It used to be A, but now it's a B. And no change on AFCI for dwelling units. What used to be B is now a C, having to do with dormitories. No change with that either. And then D, what was used to be C is now D1, has to do with guest rooms and guest suites. Now, I, what I'm struggling with this title is it's not guest rooms and guest suites. It's guest rooms and guest suites of hotels and motels. But I didn't want to put that whole thing in that table. And now we go to D2. AFCI protection is required for 15, 20 amp, your 120 volt branch circuit supplying outlet to devices in areas used exclusively as patient sleeping rooms and nursing homes and limited care facilities. That's not a change. It was just something that was moved from, you know, they had the, uh, the guest rooms and guest suites. Now they have the, um, uh, the sleeping rooms. This is not a change, right guys? Double check. Not a change. Okay. And then there's a new item three was added to clear up any confusion about AFCI protection for branch circuits in the sleeping rooms of firehouses, rescue squads, police department, and similar locations. This is in Creed, Colorado. We'll happen to be there. And I saw this. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a fire station if I ever saw one. So I, this is all done, of course, in a, in a mine. And I went in there, and, of course, you know, firefighters, these guys are all, like, buff. These guys are all working out. And of course, you go in there, and the guy's always doing this. He's working out inside there. I'm like, hey, man, can I take a picture? Like, yeah, right. People come in here all the time to take a picture of this place. I said, do you guys have a place where you sleep here? He goes, no, we don't. So uh, this is not, there is no, so in reality, this would not require, right? Be, it would only be the bedrooms, spaces in those firehouses. And I thought I was thinking about that. If you go back to the rule, oh, okay. Let me see. Oh, um, Okay, underline here. Look at it. Sleeping quarters, fire stations, police stations, ambulance stations, rescue stations, ranger stations. So I thought, the AFCI guys, man, like somebody's sleeping somewhere. We got to get an a it's sleeping AFCI. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking, I, I would high five these guys that are pushing AFCI. So that's all I can tell you. You got a spot in there.